Okay, now you should hear the game. Alright, are you hearing me now? Okay, now you should hear the game. Okay, I heard my own voice here, so this is a good sign. Please uh, respond if the game is still not audible, but it should be now. Okay, let's get ready, fix my, my chair. Beautiful. Beautiful. Set up. I think I'm on the runway now, which is not intended, but. <laughs> Shit. I forgot my tracker. Never start a stream spontaneously, it's your demise. So black screen once again, but people are patient, I heard. So once again, maybe I saw myself a little opponent here. Uh, maybe a little bomber to begin with, something to shoot. He said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, please. <laughs> Thumbs down for no. No camo, I guess. Alrighty. Okay, the map looks already pretty nice. <laughs> And it will be very, very easy to lose everything on the deck because so much force. So let's put this thing into a dive and let's throw it around. Little right rudder. Full right rudder right now. That was full right rudder. I was flying yesterday and I was in a heavy spin after that. Full elevator, full left rudder. Alright, this is pretty decent. Let's run out of speed. Full right rudder. Spin. Popping some flaps to get out of it. And out of the spin. Okay. So now I need something to shoot. It uh, sounds like, uh, feels like the flight model is um, quite more benign now. a bomber. I don't know if the um, engine limitations got in in some way patched or so, so I guess not. But the armored glass looks different. Um, 
I think in my opinion the, the, the glass looks now more bluish and doesn't have the yellow tint. I can aim the guns much more accurately compared to yesterday. Fire and pilot kill apparently. That yeah, map looks great, I have to say. And I still have the culture that's completely open. Let's close them down a little. complaining yeah, yeah it's much less wobbly this little right rudder again just some rolling, some testing, and the map looks beautiful. On right rudder here, assist aim a little. Do this stall test once again. The last time I was pushing. Hi. Hi. And then I'm streaming. No zone. Ah, look, feels great. Feels great. Much better. Basically full power before we can go a few minutes on those settings here, but uh, not super long. I think I am um, respawn real quick after I down this um, triangle here, and then I test this against the vehicle and an E. See how uh, it maneuvers. A little bit more. Whoops. Well, my cooling system is anyhow.
And of course I want to test the 109s because they should now behave a little different as well. But first let's do this before the test against the fighter. Great stuff. All right, let's test this against the fighter. Now be a four nine E seven. Until ammo gun is fine, from higher position is fine as well. Okay. No, I did not try the 109s yet. I am um, just now testing the P40. Uh, I tested it now against the. Uh, Bomber, and now I'm gonna throw it against the E7 to test some more maneuverability things. Zero throttle. More power. Full RPM. Going up. Little left runner. Cutting the turn of the 109. Going around. Looping around. Yeah, it looks, it feels much more stable. I think at least, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, yesterday I was in a unrecoverable spin after I did some really basic things. What I could do uh, with the next one is trying to outmaneuver it. So where did this one and I now spawn? Somewhere behind me. looking now oh, I know where the 109 is hard turn in the p40 full power I'm pretty sure this wouldn't be a be possible with a p40 yesterday <laughs> looking around in spite of knowing that there can't be anybody okay let's turn with this e7 here yeah? but I can't I just run out of speed here Getting pretty slow now. I have to get some speed with dipping the nose down and going into a high low look low yo yo. High yo yo next. Full power. Yeah, the the before it becomes a pig. <laughs> it's stable, but it's still not maneuverable. Especially against the E, I guess. But I should get him at some point. I think I have to put my um, jet a little bit closer to my first screen. So I can follow it a little better. I hate the AI for this behavior here. Yeah. It's so useless.
Right, putting the chat a little bit closer to my screen. Alright, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's go to the beer funnel lines, which should now feel different as well. Okay, swap to uh, BF109 F4 against the Amugan. Let's change a little bit to and fuel. Let's pick um, the oh, let's pick the armored windscreen because uh, the armored glass should look a little different. I expect that the roll rate should a little bit different uh, as soon as I dive and I think the skin is now a little changed as well expect now some changes in high speed behavior in roll rate should be a little bit worse and the armor glass looks indeed uh, now more bluish instead of uh, yellowish it's, there's a yak to dive on okay my, my zoom button is blocked I have to fix this after the attack Yeah, the, the roll rate is slower a little. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, the stability is really, really nice. While I roll around here on my wing, now I should wreck this guy or not. Only MG hits. I feel still great. I have to test the roll rate once again after this dive here. A little bit wobbly um, up when I was very slow. So let's do this stall once again. That was indeed a little bit different. Output. Just no rudder, let's see what happens. No rudder, no rudder. Okay, comes out of the stall quite by itself. Let's do this once again, and this time I just hammer the rudder. This is indeed the F4. Hammering the harder. How to describe this? It feels a little bit more slower, not the chaotic. It's more stable the store. Let's do this roll again. This is uh, unassisted roll. No rudder included. Now I do this the same, the same with um, the rudder. A little faster. There is no Era Cobra in the games yet. I can't test that. Comes out uh, with the next patch or one after that. Not so sure. Okay, let's attack the Yak once again. Oh, the map looks really, really beautiful. 
I mean, it's a little bit hazy here right now. But look at that, really. At the forests, some hills there in the distance, and I know that more hills are. Oh, there is somewhere here. Oh, there he is. Were there reflections before? I saw some really nice reflections just now on the yak. I can fly into a mountain region in a moment, yes. Actually, I don't know where they are, but I think... Some mountains are here. I think. Let me destroy one yak. It's so much fun. I saw, and I don't know, I haven't read the uh, patch notes very carefully yet. Just a few, um, a few uh, points. But uh, I saw now a really great reflection um, of his wings while diving on him. It would be really great for spotting if we get a little more reflections. Some more reflections. Oh, is it there? Yes, there he is. It still feels like um, it's not a major uh, difference. It's different, but uh, and it locks up a little bit more, and it ro rolls slower, but it's not that it doesn't feel completely off or so. It feels quite good. Oh, this is a weird star, okay? That felt weird. And new. I think you maybe didn't even notice, but there was a little shake. And I was so much sure I could can do this. And there was this reflection once again. I like it. Yeah, it rolls um, even on this speed here, 400 something kph, and the roads feel a little bit more sluggish. It could be quite an asset uh, for the Russians. Uh, depends how good uh, they can exploit that. I just test that now, right? Oh, Zebra, did they stole your wobbly wobbly P40? You wanted, I guess, a wobbly wobbly P40? Okay, let's test uh, Yak 1 against the F4 basically the other way around and um, test uh, if if how they feel in high speeds I mean if they are now locking up in the same way then there is no advantage ah well it's just said All right, let's, let's spawn in. The okay, radiators are officially closed. It's slower as well. It is slower as well. Where is this F4? Uh, the ground is so cluttered, it's really 
not so easy there is not so easy to see and there was a reflection once again either I'm, I'm completely going nuts here and that was already in the game or this is new Uh, yeah, the game will become a little slower in maneuvers. It's um, on those high speeds, the the aircraft are locking up quite um, heavily, but more. Yeah, so conclusion is the Yak rolls a little bit slower as well. But the 109 has. Oh, okay, that was an interesting snap roll there. Let's do this again. Yeah, okay, this is new. Before you could quite. Um, hammer down the rudder on the Yak. Let's do the prop hang. Let's see if this works. Um, I. Oh, there's an info. Uh, I think the, the, the hang on the prop is different as well, but we'll see. As far as I know, the 190 should be the least impacted aircraft by this patch, but we will see. Uh, and, and or the other way around, um, should benefit the most of the patch since the roll rate is uh, so heavily hampered of the other aircraft. But yeah, let's test something else and go to a mountain region. Come on, summer. Let's try spring. How that looks. Let's try. Where are the mountains on this map? Is that somewhere here, right? More. But here I can't duel. This is this is kind of annoying. No, you can't, I can't duel here. Hmm, this is bad. Let's then let's take this ocean. It's one ninety. Ninety one ninety one ninety one ninety one ninety five. It doesn't matter, but any five more power is more power. Fuel, nice camo. Here we go. And camo is important, you know. So, and let's fight LA5. I think I put them full of fuel. Maybe I can change that real quick. Okay, so. The mountains are south, but uh, there is no dogfight opportunity. I can fly there, but no opponent. Let's go. Yeah, the Focke Wolf, super fast roll rate. 
still. So I don't fear for that. It feels uh, super maneuverable in comparison. Look at this. Spotting against the sea is quite nice in comparison to forest, this helps as well. And there is this shimmer again, this, this glow. Ah, that's really nice. This should help spotting a lot. Look at that. Those li uh, nice little white reflections of the wings. Yeah, the roll rate of the 190 is still very, very good. Stall test once again. Powering the aircraft. Now still up. Slowly falls over the nose, interestingly enough. And just gets out of the spin by or out of the stall by herself. Powering up again. Oh, and there is a uh, LA5 on my tail. And here comes the roll really quite nice and handy. Oh, he comes back. <laughs> I'm still checking my six constantly after such maneuvers, it's just in the habit. But uh, the habit is correct, to be honest. <laughs> that was the ammo wreck, my friend. <laughs> Speaking of duck. So let's test. Let's just pick another location in the hopes that it last doesn't look very hilly here, but I just try it out. All right, there it is. This ugly big <laughs> fat thing. <laughs> oh, 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 maybe should I should spawn myself instead in another? Maybe I can can spawn here and then I um, let myself spawn a few. Um, Ground things instead. This is uh, an idea I could spawn in. Oh, okay, you can only spawn so high. I guess uh, <laughs> it's just that <laughs> that high there. MK103. Daka Daka. Pile ram. Okay, for radio beacons, a mirror. And you can select your ammo load. I want armor piercing in this case. Let's try it out. This camo. Versions a little. 
Fuel as well. Stock. Here it is. I, is she ugly? And those French engines. Ugh. <laughs> Just kidding. So. And here we have some mountains. I have no idea about engine limitations. I only hear that the engines are revving up quite hard already. I have no control over my RPM. Okay. And no ground forces in the area. I like it. Alright, in this case, I just restart the mission and I spawn myself a bomber. Finish. I can't spawn here with a bomber, this is a shame. Maybe, 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 and this is my theory, the AI is just that stupid and flies into um, the mountains here, that they don't allow that you spawn here. <laughs> This could be the reason. Just a wild guess. <laughs> and I want to shoot an IL-2 with this. Now I but I switch to um, to mixed belts, I guess. <laughs> mixed. I even have those. This is really nice. I have to take a look in the in the settings if I uh, have to set up a button where I can trigger the main cannon only by um, by itself. And set up once again. Set up right. Uh, did I forget anything? I wanted to take a look at the settings. Ah, no mountains here again. I mean, I can switch to manual crop pitch, but I mean, I want that. The visibility is surprisingly good in the thing with this little TV screen in front. I only have to find this item too, which is somewhere to my left side low. Now that it's just a fucking emblem on the map. Uh. Does anybody know how many minutes I can run um, combo power? I mean, since it's uh, completely other engines, do I even have an enemy here? That's quite nice. I'm still missing my I2 here. <laughs> I 
It's slow. <laughs> not very surprisingly. Has not a lot of horsepower. But has up to 30 minutes combat power. This is good. Okay, but now let's take a look if I respawn the I2 here. But I had an opponent here. Let's check uh, the object markers. Throw a panel. Just so I can see. Just notice I have no control of um, former radiators. I have to press uh, the nose down all the time, but don't use trim. <laughs> okay, this is very disappointing. This is not. The aircraft is nice and stable, by the way. I just touched nothing right now. Only the nose is going down a little. Can be countered by um, using trim. Stalled. I have no control of some more radiators. Apparently, it's automatic. <laughs> okay, this is fun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if I only kill my, don't kill myself. doesn't want to climb though. Oh, come on. Catch you to borrow IL2. This is interesting. Why do I have uh, full throttle right now? This is really, really interesting. Ah! Okay. This is interesting. So the I2 is outpacing me right now.
I'm looking for a, a prop pitch indicator, a proper one. And I'm. Um, yeah. Boost engaged. It has a boost. It gives you one point five RTR. Not too shabby. I don't know how the uh, engines deal with that much pressure. RPM! <laughs> they are the RPM! Ugh. And now Sheriff snipes. A little lower. Okay, the ammo is good. <laughs> I like I like the ammo. Uh, the, the gauges on the on the engine are first fuel, a second you see some temperatures, and a third you see the RPM of the engines, which is kind of interesting to say at least. Oh, I missed the opportunity. Oh, I hit him. Impressed. I have to turn around earlier, otherwise I chase him for ages. The engines are running quite fast already. It is in all its ugliness. But I actually like um, the visibility. Um, it's much better than I thought. I mean, not to the rear, obviously, but this is still fine for a ground attacker. Um, at least okay ish. But even the IL-2 9041 in a straight line can outrun this thing. So it's not a fighter. How long is boosted now? Five minutes? Hopefully, <laughs> and now I try to snipe this I2 once again. Yeah, um, if the 30 hits, it's um, the end. I want this on a fighter. Oh, the shoot opened. There he sits next to his plane. All right, enough of the games. Could be fun this thing. <laughs> yeah, she's so ugly that she's beautiful. Uh, that's that's kind of right, I guess. So somebody says a Spitfire. So if you have more planes, which I have to test, oh, I have to test first the Mig three. I have to say. 
MiG-3 first, because MiG-3s are beautiful. MiG-3s won the war, I heard. So, legend says at least. Um, let's fly against the absolutely beautiful G2. This is nice, this is nice as well. Let's get started. Why put gauges on the engines? That's a really good question. That's a question for Bismarck. He he has uh, he's the guy who knows such things. Why I do this? Is this most of most likely? It's just a matter of uh, complexity. Basically, how to uh, realize uh, some gauges in the cockpit, and it was just easier to put gauges on the on the engines. More easier to construct easier to build. Oh, I have to take off in the MiG, I just noticed I'm doing it wrong. Okay, has an SD stall in the wing over? I have to remember how to make. I just noticed. Roll rate still abysmal in high speeds. This is the maximum roll rate right now. Guns are still good. Let's fly up. Let's do a wing over and uh, do a really bad wing over with full rudder to the left. It's stable. Uh, the MiG was stable it, in the in the air. The MiG was quite stable. Full left left rudder. This is kind of weird. Yeah. It's more stable, I guess. Water needs some love. There we go. Ah, I can't move my nose. Full elevator. Snapped. Control it again. Oh, he's coming up. What is he doing? Uh, this is the engine store. Yes, I'm playing offline since the servers are not up, and uh, in this way I can test planes rather quickly. So, but I did it wrong, like I said. So I have to test the big in the takeoff. It. Beautiful. All right. I notice you. I notice all of you. What's up? Side side wind. Yes, this is missing. You're absolutely right. So that's okay. But usually, you don't even need sidewind to fail in taking off the MiG. Alright. Wait, up. What's up for my oil? Ah, it's fully opened. 
um, yeah, I just do the, the absolutely full takeoff, full throttle at once, and then we see what happens. No way. Uh, this is easy. This is very easy. Yeah, sure, we can uh, do some side wind next. Let's see what happens. Like 15 meters per second or 10 or something. Weather and time. <laughs> 12 meters, some turbulences. Uh, we make cloudy weather, and clouds are at 500 meters. So, this is uh, a real, true tactical air war takeoff conditions. So, mixture once again to full, full water radiators, at least some of water radiators. Ooh, something forgotten. On which side comes the wind? Is there any indicator? I would like to know, but we will know in a second. This is boring! <laughs> and I get pushed to the, the right here and thrown around. Here, land. I like the map, it looks really really great. Did I set it I set it up cloudy, right? You saw that too. <laughs> it's turbulent. Yeah, it's super turbulent. Uh, yeah, here comes the, the roll around. I used too much rudder at landing. Yeah, but other than that, doable now. Easier for sure. So, what else? A Spitfire in fight was uh, asked earlier. Spitfire. And the G2. Fuel, its engine. Camo is fine. Using a bit the uh, gun convergence here. Oops. Shit. Again. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, well this is uh, the last dogfight that I have time for and uh, then I will do a break We'll test a few things later on, but not on stream Full RPM, opening the radiators a bit Cutting the throttle Oh yeah, starts but heavily even. Oh yeah, it feels different, the plane. Did they change something, even with the engine power? The engine doesn't feel that, feels that powerful anymore, and this could be right. And this thing is nervous around the nose. Oh, I still have the, <laughs> the turbulences and the wind, I guess. I just feel it now. Yeah, yeah, it's shaking like hell. Spitfire still feels nice, but um, I have to do some tests with measuring uh, because it feels different, Subst substantially different. Oh, and the turbulences are real. as well. What is he doing? The nose is so nervous because of the turbulences. I try the same stuff once again with uh, without the turbulences and wind. Did 
he didn't. Okay, so once again, but this time weather and stuff. Cloudy. Okay. It's clear. Once again. How is anyone able to play one on to one with any PC joystick? Uh, I play with one to one ratio on this joystick, but the T16000M is super sensitive and allows for super accurate movement even uh, around the, the center of the, uh, the center point. And no, 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 I shouldn't be a brain surgeon. Because I'm not really that good. <laughs> Where you need really, really precise uh, work. I like the, the gl new glow effect. I like it a lot. Catch up. Yeah, the, the nose is very, very sensitive to input. Allows for great turn fights, I guess. Uh, at least great entertainment turns, but actually, I find it quite annoying. I mean, with a 109 or a Yak or whatever, I would be able to toast this guy now three times. That's a good hit. Wing off. We have to go a little defensive here. I like the glow effect. I repeat myself, but I like it. Ugh. No ammo. Yeah, but I guess this oil. And his fuel. 
cooling would be nice. I tickle him to death. Now? Yay! At the light. Yay! Especially P40. That yeah, seems good. Seems good. I mean, you obviously, have to test more and um, more extensively, and hopefully, uh, there are no no bullcrap or something. Especially the yak. I have to test again. I had the feeling that you can't stand on your. I uh, can't hang on your props so hard, but I uh, don't take my word for it, for it right now. All right, let's try to stall them. Switch fire. Aim for speed. Hopping quite long. With the left roller it rolls over. But doesn't enter a violent spin or something. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice. was okay a wild spin recovered by herself trying it once again letting go of the controls recovered Definitely easy to catch once again. All right, that's it for this stream. Thank you for watching. Just a, a small test of different flight characteristics. Uh, I think I will put this clip up to YouTube. So if you watch it from the beginning there, I tested the P40, for example, and uh, the Yak and the 109s and the Focke Wolf. So, and of course the Duck and the uh, MK103 Cannon. So if you would like to watch it, I will, it will be up shortly. Um, see you then. Bye bye.